Good morning, good afternoon, uh, good evening, good good, uh, good night, everybody. This is episode 11 of the Clean Hamster Podcast. I'm fucking back! <laughs> Whoa, I surprised myself there. That sounded diet. I just said diet. Uh, so I'm back, man, and I'm excited. I'm already giggling. It's going to be a good one. It's going to be a fucking rip-roaring good time here. I'm back in my, uh, I'm back in my, I'm back in my bullshit, motherfucker. And, uh, we're good, man. Everything's nice. Um, it's March. It's March. It's now March. So that's pretty sweet. (sighs) Lots going on. Got lots going on. Uh, I got some new listeners. I have some, I had some great new things that I heard about, uh, about my podcast recently, and I'm so happy about it. And I love the people that listen to it. You know who you are. When, I t- when I'm talking to you, I'm not going to name names because there's a million of you, <laughs> I hope. But, man, I got some re- really, I got some amazing messages. I got this the other day. Hi, h- hello, Dean. I just wanted to say I started listening to your podcast, and you're a really funny dude. I like your humor very much. That was so sweet. And then I got another one. Um, I got another one before that. Uh saying, I love your podcast. I've been listening to all the episodes. It's been getting me through my work day. Like, that's so sweet. That's so nice. Amongst other ones, but those are the two most recent ones that I got, and I, and I couldn't be happier. So thank you very much. Uh, those girls who sent me those. Really, really sweet. Thank you so much. And uh, we're going to keep it going. So get ready to fucking, get ready to laugh, whether you're in public, whether you're whether you're in your room listening to it before you go to bed, or maybe it's before uh, you go to work, whatever, during your work day, whatever, on the bus, fucking whatever, you know? At the hospital? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But we're good, you know? I was thinking about a lot of funny stuff this week and writing it down for you guys, and I'm really excited to, to talk about it because um, I'm going to be embarrassed, and nothing and, and nothing gets me happier than... Than, than, uh, than making fun of myself for, for the pleasure of others. I love doing that. So I was remembering recently a lot of funny shit about, about, uh, about what I used to do when I was a child because uh, I was embarrassing for sure. I wanted highlights all the time when I was a kid. When I was like in third grade, I was like, Mom, can I get blonde in parts of my hair? And she was like, why? And I was like, because it's sick. That's why. That's so embarrassing. And then I would get highlights. Like, a, like really often I would get highlights, which is weird. And um, no one thought it was as cool as me at school. I thought it was so dope. And then, uh, and then I was thinking about a couple other things. Every time I would go to summer camp, um, I, uh, every time it was time to swim, I would put my penis on the jets in the pool because <laughs> I was seven and I didn't know what was going on with my body and why that felt awesome, but it felt awesome, okay? Let me let all you girls in on a little secret. Little boys are fucking crazy, okay? We put our dicks on jets in hot tubs, in pools, and we stand there till we basically come. <laughs> oh, 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 man, that's so insane. <laughs> But we don't come because we're seven. We just kind of go, oh, and then like it's like a little ghost load. <laughs> Nothing comes out. Like our little pee holes go. <laughs> they go through the motions of coming. <laughs> That's so crazy. That's so crazy. And once we find that out, we go and tell our other seven-year-old friends, hey, guys, you know what feels really good? If you put your, you, you, you put, you, you put, you, uh, you put, uh, you put your penis <laughs> On this water that's coming out wicked fast on just on on the shaft of your penis. Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we are fucking up four minutes in and I'm already I'm already literally people's jaws are dropped. This is fucking That's how I do it. This is how I do it. Okay? That's how I do it. Okay? Get it? Got it? Good. Little boys are coming all the time. But they're not coming everywhere because they can't come. Little boys are always just putting their dick on stuff. They're shoving it between cushions. They're putting it on things that are cold, that are warm to the touch, because they don't know what's going on. Uh, you know, it, good they're doing that, because, well, unfortunately, some of them grow up to, you know, bother women with it. But anyway, 
I'm not going to get into that. But yeah, I was thinking about that the other day and I was laughing in my bed, man. It was so fucking funny. Um, I also found out recently a girl that I used to date uh, has a couple videos on Pornhub. Wow. But I don't think she uploaded them herself. I think it was kind of against her uh, her permission. I think some fucker kind of took some shit. And because uh, this girl's uh, essentially she's a sex worker, which fucking get your money. OK, that's awesome. And her content's f- fire. <laughs> but um, I don't know. I think someone kind of breached her privacy and put that shit on Pornhub. And someone told me about it. And I was like, whoa. <laughs> That's crazy. I've been intimate with her. You know what I mean? It was it was a big eye opener and uh <laughs> literally, literally a video of her sucking a dude's dick was on board. <laughs> it was pretty insane. Um that's life. That's not normal. That's life, you know? Sometimes your ex is on fucking <laughs> what? That's life, huh? Well, that's life now, which sucks. That's crazy. That wasn't life back in the day. That's life now, okay? Like, literally, my computer just fucking froze, and I gotta edit that whole thing out. Fucking great, dude. Cool. Anyway, Jesus Christ. Fuck this fucking Dell computer. Fuck. Ugh, I hate that shit. Not responding. What is this, 2005? What computer doesn't respond anymore? It's fine. Make good stuff, okay? Like, what, it literally, like, it's it's literally like this laptop just went, and shit and then now it's fine fuck that makes me so angry i'm trying to fucking i'm trying to get some funnies out to the world and this piece of shit just goes fucking wait wait Uh, okay keep recording your podcast sorry i just had to squeeze out a fucking internet computer fucking computer chip fart like fuck off god that makes me fucking angry that's a big first world problem, I guess. I don't know, man. Fuck, that's so stupid. Stupid as fuck. Stupid as fuck, bitch fuck. Fucking fuck. <laughs> what am I doing? Anyway. Any hooser. Uh, we're gonna get back. Uh, we're gonna get back to uh, regular, regular scheduled programming. <laughs> Pro Instagramming. Instagram's fun, isn't it? I upload my dick all the time, okay? Because you know why, guys? Instagram is a fucking joke, okay? It shouldn't be taken as seriously as it is amongst some people. But I get it. Some people are like, ah, that's how I make my fucking money because your tits are out. But, and you're fu- and, and or if you're a guy, you're fucking, your abs are just like, Whoosh. They're just there, and you're just like, yeah. Sometimes you just gotta fucking look at look at world through a look at the world through a different telescope or some shit like that. <laughs> a different talent to a different telescope. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta look at the world through a different telescope. <laughs> what? What the fuck did I just say? <laughs> Sometimes you gotta look at it through a telescope. No one looks at the world through a telescope. You look out of the world through a telescope. I'm an idiot. (laughs) And then you go work out. (laughs) Fuck, man, that made me laugh. (sighs) Okay, anyway, anyway, anyway. Um, But you know what I mean. There's fucking assholes out there who make their money on Instagram, and it's like they don't have social skills or or personalities. They just have pictures, and people think that's who they are. But that's that's besides the point. Instagram's fun because I, uh, I, I... I get away with uploading in like literal nude photos of myself and I see how long it takes for people to 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 report me. It not long because they're like, I didn't log into Instagram to see a dick. Get off my feed. And they still follow me, so like what the fuck? That's your fault. But anyway, it's it's Instagram is supposed to be fun. I've said that before on the podcast. It's supposed to be a good time and like I have a good time on Instagram, all right? I'm constantly kind of poking fun at a lot of things. Uh, I upload my cock once a month for sure. But I have a I have a second Instagram account. Um, not everyone's allowed to follow it, but some people are allowed to follow it. Okay, and here's the thing: it's called Clean Hamster, which is the reason. Basically, this is the podcast version of that account. It's where it's my fucking trash bin. It's just where I go to fucking be like, that's it's what I do. Okay, 
So this 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 Instagram account has been my pride and joy. It's been my baby, okay? Since about uh, it's been it's been out it's been out for actually almost two years now. I've had it. Uh, it's my burner account. It's my Finsta, as some people call it, and it's just where I go to have fun. It's where I go to upload really funny videos, really f- just silly shit that doesn't need to be seen on my regular account. Because my regular account is basically, is is like, look how hot I am, look how cool I am. <laughs> this account is look who I really am. Okay, that's how it goes. So, um, not too long ago, this is a great guys. This is a great story. Okay. So you guys know I I don't I don't just do this right. I am a functioning member of society. Anyway, I am a fu- fucking the computer froze again, and I'm getting fucking angry. Fuck. Ah. Uh! Anyway, where what did I say? Oh yeah, I am a functioning member of society. You guys know that, okay? I don't just do this podcast. I don't just do put funny bullshit on Instagram, okay? I have a couple of jobs that I need to be somewhat professional at, so I can make money. And, you know, have an income and have disposable income and pay my rent and so on and so on and so on, okay? So, unfortunately, I make some bad judgment calls sometimes uh, when it comes to both those lives. And here's what the fuck happened to me recently, okay? So, I have a job at a really nice restaurant that I work at, okay? I work with really great people. Some people are fucking cocks. Some people are awesome, okay? That's the way it goes at every workplace, all right? And on my Clean Hamster profile, I upload it... (laughs) On the story one day, I uploaded a photo of me um, with my dick out, okay? My dick was out. Very funny, okay? And ju- But, like, just a little bit, and I put it on the story, which means it was only up for 24 hours. And if you scrolled past the story, like, fast enough, it just looked like a regular mirror photo of me at work in my, in my uniform. But, <laughs> but my dick was out, <laughs> and I'm an idiot. But it's okay. It's fine. But by the way, just to preface, I'm I'm not fired. I still have the job. Anyway, so here's what's up. Um, screenshotting exists, and word of mouth exists. So not too long ago, I got um, <laughs> I got approached at work, and I got called into the office. Uh, and by the way, I literally thought I was getting promoted. Okay, not what was happening at all. And someone caught wind of me in uniform. With my penis out, taking a mirror photo at at the at the place, you know, at my work, <laughs> and um, I had the most uncomfortable sit down conversation maybe of all time with my general manager, and um, God bless her because like s- seriously though, like f- I'm an idiot, okay? I just didn't think that far into the future and was like, ha ha, this is funny right now, and I and I uploaded it and I did it and I did it and it was really stupid, <laughs> and then uh. And then she said, um, we've received word around the restaurant that you were um, in uniform, uh, in the building, uh, in our washroom, taking photo, taking inappropriate photos of yourself, exposing, uh, exposing private parts of your body. And um, her eyes were serious, but her mouth was smirking just, like, just a little, like, so a little bit smirking, which in my head means she saw the photo. Now, I... I'm mortified at this point. The feeling is wash. The feeling washed over me of oh, I'm getting fired and this is a new low. Okay, because I've been fired many times. I've talked about it before. I uh, and and I was like, oh my god, I, and I'm fucking so embarrassed and I feel like such an idiot. And, I, and at this point, I'm like, I'm still a kid. I'm not an adult. I'm a fucking moron, right? And so, um, she's like, so by the way, don't do that. And second of all, um. What, don't you do anything you want just not in the fucking uniform you wear here and I was like understood and she was like we're not firing you we don't want to fire you we like you don't make us fire you please and I and, and, and I was like oh my god thank god and it, it wasn't that serious it's not like the whole the whole the whole my entire workplace was talking about it you know what I mean it's just like a couple people it just got to them and they're like okay hey, we got to talk to this kid before he does something worse I guess right you know they do they were doing their job and they were doing their job because I was not, okay? And I feel really stupid about it. And it's just a funny story I thought I'd share with you guys. And um, I feel fucking dumb. But, uh, it, but and by the way, it's, and, and like, that was before my shift. So I had to like start my shift like that. You know what I mean? I had to, with that in my head, being like, there's people, there's, there's, my superiors here have seen my flaccid dick. 
and I'm a widow embarrassed. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and I didn't talk for the first, I don't know, three hours of my shift, and I was mortified, and I was sweating, and then, uh, and it's died down because that was a few weeks ago, so it's fine now. And uh, I I do go in there with a new attitude because, like, I do really like working there. I don't want to fuck that up. But I almost fucked it all up <laughs> just for some, just for a couple of ha-has on my burner account. You know what I mean? And I just didn't think. And uh, look and and look what happened. I, I, got, I got scalded for it. I got a big talking to, which I needed. You know what I mean? Everyone needs a kick in the pants every once in a while. And I also got a nice little funny story about it to tell you guys. Because I love you. I love you. I love you. Ooh, I love you. I love you guys. Wow. Anywho. <clears throat> also, there's a, there's a ton of people, a ton of people that I work with who have, um, have recently like found this, the podcast, the, uh, they've, 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 They've requested to follow Clean Hamster. They've uh, uh, a couple servers I work with who are like you know they're like 28, 29 years old. They're, they're seasoned vets. They know what's up. They're cool though. Um, they uh, they found my Twitter account and they're just like holy shit. And at the moment when I saw that they started following me, I was like oh no oh no oh fuck. I hope they get it right. And thankfully they've been getting it. And now I'm liked more at work and it's really nice because when I started at this job, which is actually when I started this podcast, kind of weird. Um, I really got the vibe that I wasn't getting through to some of these people. I really thought I was just annoying to them. But like now that I've been like around enough, they're like, I get it. He's fun. And I've been told seriously to my face that like, I'm, I'm, I'm a breath of fresh air in that building. And that really is nice. So shout out to everyone who's been, been really sweet to me at work. Cause it's, I'll gladly reciprocate that. It's just like, you know, I'm happy that I fit in there now because I, I thought I was a bit of a burden at, and I thought I was just like an annoying little fucker, but like, you know, they just didn't get it yet. And then like, once they're around me enough, like I said, it, it's, I have more friends there now, and I'm happy about it, and I'm and I'm in a I'm happy. I'm I've always been excited to go there, and now I'm just more excited because everyone's cool, and uh, and hopefully some people are listening to that and they and they're happy because it makes me happy too. Anywho, um, also an another thing is that like a lot of people there are starting to find out that I do comedy, and some of them have been to a lot of sh- uh, a lot of stand up shows that I've been doing, and it's. And it's been great. And I'm like, you know, word gets around work. And then they're like, oh, you do stand up? I'm like, oh, that's awesome. I'm like, when's the next show? And like, people are, people are fucking down to come see shit. And that's awesome. That's so sweet. And, 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 and this, this brought up an interesting topic uh, that I had to write down. Being around normal people when they know you do comedy is a very weird place to be sometimes depending on where you stand with those people if you're best friends with them you're fine they know how to be around you they know how to kind of like navigate through conversations with you they fucking get it but some people who just don't really know you yet i don't know if i'm explaining this right i i'm I'm, anyway i'm just gonna try i when normal people (laughs) find out that a person who they thought was normal does comedy, they f- kind of freak the fuck out and don't know how to speak to you to your face. And then they become kind of an asshole without knowing it. And it's very, very weird. And it's been, and, and it'll never stop happening. You know what I mean? When people, like, people are just like, ah, oh, you do, oh, so you do stand up. You like, do you like Jerry Seinfeld? Uh, did you catch Saturday Night Live last night? No, dude, I didn't. Like, I'm not talking about that with you. We don't even know each other very well. Let's just, oh, can we go back to being normal? Can we go pretend that you didn't find out I did comedy now? Because now every single thing you say to me has to pertain to comedy and everything, and, and, and you're going to seem, like, and like, you're annoying now. You know what I mean? Like, you're just like, I got one for you. You ever notice when, and it's like a racist joke. <laughs> it's just like not, uh, so a fucking Jew and a hood, and I'm going to stop you right there. You know what I mean? I'm not taking that. Uh, you could use that one. That's everyone says that. Yeah, I got one for you. Uh, so this fucking Jew, <laughs> and you're like, stop, you know, they all do that. It's very weird. It's fucking s- super strange. This happens all the time when I, uh, when I go home to, uh, well, not home, but like I go to a, to, to visit my mom in, uh, in a different part of Canada, in, in small town Canada. And 
you know, it's whether it's like my stepbrother or uh, my steps, not really my stepsister. She gets it. She's on, she's on the same level as me. She's on, she's in the same playing field. She's a funny person. She fucking gets it. Okay. We have good conversations. Um, but, uh, or her, uh, her, her fiance, actually not her fiance. The guy won't fucking propose yet. Uh, her boyfriend, <laughs> uh, he does it to me all the time. I'll just go, so, so how's the comedy business going? Like, fucking, I don't know, dude, hilarious, what do you think, fucking, I work at two restaurants, and I don't have a Netflix special yet, shut up, like, you know, like, he knows when he asks me that I'm not, like, he, he basically, he straight up will just be like, so you're famous yet, <laughs> like, the, like, the moment you do one open mic, people are like, ah, you're gonna make it, you're a star, kid, come on, come with me, get in the limo, suck on my Venus, like, it's not gonna happen, it takes a lot of work, and it takes a lot of stuff, and it takes a lot of self-doubt. It, it just takes a lot, okay? The funniest people on earth are still out there working at fucking restaurants and bullshit and fucking, you know. And there's a lot of lame-ass people who give garbage content out there who because luck was on their side. Anyway, I'm not going to get into that, though. But, like, being around normal people when you are in comedy is just a bit of a burden. And I don't mean to sound like such a hard-done-by-bitch-ass, but, like... It's just tough to navigate through conversations when people are just like, so, <laughs> when are you going to say something funny? Like, it's just not how it works, I guess. Like, just let it happen organically. Don't be like, so, oh, 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 don't get Dean going. Don't get Dean going. <laughs> oh, is this going to turn into the roast of the family? No, it's not, because it's Christmas, and I'm not going to act like that, okay? Unless you really fucking want me to. You really want to really push me to the edge? I'll light up all you fuckers, but I'm not because I love all of you and you're all fucking 60 and white. <laughs> but you know how it goes. Why do I keep saying you know how it goes? You don't know how it goes. Yeah, you know how it goes. Nope. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Anyway, um, that's kind of all I wanted to talk about, really. Uh, I don't really have a lot of, uh, on my mind and I, <laughs> I kind of got to get to work soon. <laughs> So I got to start getting ready for work and uh, I love all you guys and I just wanted a quick, uh, I just wanted to record a quick episode and hopefully, hopefully some of you laughed, hopefully some of you cried. Why would you cry? Don't know. Weird. Um, but I'm just sitting here, my stomach's sweating now and I love all of you. And um, also, um, I need to start, I need to start recording more often. So the, the, uh, th like the messages that I got. Um, on Instagram from those people who like, I don't know, by the way, I don't even know where, where these people live in the world, which makes me so happy. Um, and I really need to start looking at those messages more so I get inspired to record more of these episodes. And I really need to start getting this out there. I want to start, I want to start generating some fucking revenue, you know? So we'll see what's up. But, um, I love all you guys. And, uh, that was another, that was a quick 22 minutes, I guess. Probably 18 minutes, whatever because I got to cut down some shit. Uh, but uh, I love all you guys. Thanks for listening. And if you laughed, thank you. And if you didn't, fuck you, dude. <laughs> Just kidding. I love all my listeners. <laughs> I'm going to hug the microphone. Goodbye. Bye. I love you. Bye, 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 bye. <laughs>